everybody, welcome to another episode of Prison Architect Season 2. In the last episode, I told you guys that we were going to uh, sell this prison and start making our new one and making it super tough for a legit escape attempt. Now, yes, 40,800 for prison intake. I went ahead and just finished off these cells off camera. I have loaded, I have brought in 102 prisoners. I did a direct split, as you can see up here, because I want to leave this place with uh, as much money as we can possibly get away with. So I'm going to wait for all these guys to come in. Oh, we've already gained the money from them. And I'm going to go ahead, because I've got those extra grant mods installed. Uh, most of them we've already taken anyway, if you recall. Uh, but I'm going to go and see if there's any others that I'm able to just acquire. So let's go ahead and go to grants. So cell block C, prisoner capacity, yep, prisoner capacity goes up and again, and again, and again, uh, 200, no we can't do that one. Cell block C is 200, we can't do that one. Let's see, we can't do the pottery one. 100 inmates we can do. These are only completion bonuses. There's no, uh, well that one's got an advanced on it, but uh, this one does, oh this one does. It has a 200,000 advanced payment. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, I don't know if this got this one. Four cookers, four fridges, six cooks. What are we missing? Eight fridges. We've only got two. How much do we get from this? Just ten grand. So it'll be a bit of a waste for us. I don't know if we can do this one. Yes, that one's been done. Um, and that. Oh no, not quite. Technical education grant. Prepare your prisoners to smash rocks. Okay, no, we can't do that one. Um can't do that one though. No. Okay, so that's all of them that we can do. Now I could go ahead and sell all of this stuff, but your overall prison rating is also done with the amount of stuff that's in your prison. So we can go ahead and sell it right now. For over, over a million guys we're going to have here. Now, something new, you've got a choice of wardens. He's a basic, the most balanced individual on the planet. He does the job and nothing else. People just call him the warden. The lobbyist has friends in high places and make sure to, that more easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. We don't want that one. It halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are volatile, lethal, vo violent, lethal, volatile, deadly or fighters. Rita, ruthless and terrifying. Rita has a reputation for running her facilities through judicial, uh, yep that word, <laughs> application of fear. Rumours of her carrying a whip may be exaggerated. Half the likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless. Prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. Warden Periwinkle says that he was a sapper in a in the war. He never says which war specifically. I never says which war specifically, but he certainly knows everything about digging tunnels. Guards have a fifty percent chance of fully uncovering only any tunnels that they detect. The pacifier. The pacifier has an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Even being in the same room as him is enough to make people docile and compliant. Reduces the overall temperature of your prison, making the inmates less likely to cause trouble. And uh, Safara Aknova. Safara Aknova has a spotless reputation and a squeaky clean record, but behind the scenes, shady deals and under the table offerings are nothing uncommon for her. Gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. Prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. I think we're going to go with that one. Extra money in pocket. It's not going to be a great amount, but I'll put you on. Gangs, I suppose we'll put gangs on just for the fun of it. Generate buildings off, generate lakes off, forests and fog of war on. We're going to start off with a medium. Or should we go large? Let's go medium. 
here we go. DB Cooper. I suppose it's because of the amount of money that we've got. See, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but sell your prison and make over one million profit. So we've got all this room to play with. Now, I want to actually have separate areas on this one. Um, I do. So, as usual, we're going to have the entrance right down at the bottom here, but I'm going to need to make sure that there is enough room for fences. Or, well, not fences, but perimeter walls. So let's go ahead and map this in. Now, I do want a double wide perimeter wall. In my other prison, I actually did a triple wide, but I think double wide should be, well, not double wide, but double wall, you know, should be sufficient. Some guard posts in the corners, like so. And I might even do some midway on occasion, just to help break up the patrol routes, you know. Oh wait, that's a bit bigger than the other ones. Wait, what have I done wrong here? <laughs> One, two, so it's two by two on the inside. There, that's what we want. Um. I don't know, I'll deal with extra rooms in here in a bit. First things first, we want to be able to make some offices down on this end. So, it needs to be that wide. I'm not, I don't know if that's what the offices are gonna be. Um, just that we need to be able to fit them in. That's all that is for. I'm gonna do something like, like I did. Oh no, maybe I can't do that. Not if I'm making it for every type of prisoner. In the last prison I made, I made them go all the way along all the way around before getting into into the prison proper that way if anyone tried to escape especially me they had a long way to go um but let's see let's see right so we need to fit in four offices down here i, I do like the idea of having them here i'll be honest with you four offices there um, parole rooms need to be what do parole need to be five by five it makes sense them being down here you know although it would be better if they were all the way up here so the prisoners have less of a journey to get to them one two three four um Alright, we're going to have to have them on here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here. Like so. So I'm going to put in a couple of these. Um, three or four. Let's say four. Let's go with four. We're also going to need a staff room. So let's go ahead and plop that in about there and a visitation right there that allows us space for the following our reception room and a what's it called what is it the damn thing called um I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Holding cell. That's the one. The holding cell. So the administration section is a grant that we can start work on straight off. We are gonna work off the grants because we're gonna need them. Um So what do you need? For the staff room, five guards. Yep, we can go for that one. And the admin centre. Where are you? Hmm. 
Where are you? Seriously, where are you? Bookworm. No, 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 no. Is this it? Maybe. Huh. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Right, so let's go ahead and start building in. Now, I want to work this one off the brick-based ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and put you in like so. These ones in here. Them two and the paroles. Now, materials. I'm going to need some fence. Uh, here. Probably going to have an exit there. And maybe one in another place. But we'll, we can always just, you know, remove it. Down to there. Like so. I don't know how much the perimeter wall is going to cost, but I'm going to do the outer one at least or at the very least on this section here um, you know let's do the outer wall if we need to expand we can always destroy the wall and expand it itself I do need to change one thing. Um, so deliveries is going to stick all the way down here as per normal above the garbage. You know what? Deliveries would make sense being there, wouldn't it? In level with this entrance here. And garbage will place underneath like this. Let's actually do it the way down. Right, let's speed up time, shall we? Go on as fast as humanly possible. Let's add in another two workers for now until we can get the warden in. Objects. Staff doors. These are all going to be staff offices. So, that one there for now. Um, we are going to have to demolish this section, this one, then cancel one, two, three, one, two, three, so here and here. We are also going to be needing a large jail door right here, one there. Here, here, I need to put a fence in there. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now, this one was going to be the visitation. So, we are going to be needing another jail door right there. This one's a staff room, so it'll be a staff door. And because this is going to be the paroles, they are going to need the jail doors. There. Now it's just a matter of waiting for them to build it all because they're going to be doing all of this section up here too. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be back as soon as they have finished all of this construction. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Hi right, guys, well, they're not done yet, but I found something, a notebook page. Now, sometimes you can find Polaroids, um, which I think I've shown on camera. However, what I've not found, I've only ever found one page so far, and I think these are from the game makers, so let's take a look. Oh, uh.
Unless guard policies something. <laughs> Contraband ideas. Uh, core types of contraband weapon escape tool narcotics many rooms and objects yeah so basically these are ideas that they've had whilst they've been making the game I believe um, if you want to read it go ahead pause it alright let's go I will be back when they finished see you in a sec guys okay guys they are done finally I did have to add in an additional like two or three uh, workers just because they were taking their sweet ass time uh, but I've done it so yes it's all done let's continue building and I can't believe I didn't do that right guys I'm so sorry I said we was gonna build using this material and I forgot to I only just realized. Yeah. My bad. So let's replace all of that. It's not going to take them long to replace it. The length of time that they were spending doing things was purely and simply because they were having they were building the uh, perimeter wall as well, which is already starting to overgrow with with um plants. It's kind of weird. Why? Oh, there we go. Now you can. I'm gonna have to. Two, one, two, here. I did find in the grants. I did find the actual um, grants that we needed for the admin admin center. Um, and once we've completed the one that we're using right now, we'll go ahead and get the actual one. Because if you look and see, the chief of security part is not normally a part of this. So um, that was my fault. I picked the wrong one. It's part of the mod setup that we've got. But it's fine. You know, mistakes happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't be replacing all this wall, would I? Also save. Um, you. It's hard to see at night. Well, for obvious reasons, but you guys know what I mean. It's too dark. Now the random events that are enabled will not kick into effect until the prison is open, I believe. start naming rooms there's the parole or the four paroles having four paroles with such with a large prison makes more sense than just having one and having like some really 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 big back to up uh, queue prisoners who want to get out who are actually up for parole and it helps us to get a better turnover um, like if we've got a better turnover of money in prison wise you know the more prisoners to get that actually get paroled the more money we can make so holding cell and reception is here and we just need the offices set up objects Here, 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 and here. It would be a lot easier if we had the clone tool enabled, but we don't have it unlocked yet. They need to be able to change the way this is done. Um, move the computer or something. Because it doesn't make sense, you know, you're sitting off to one side or the other. Also need the filing cabinet. Let's go ahead and stick these in the corners up here. Like so. Our staff, warden, we now need to unlock finance and you know what this 
start working on security as well. Straight after. Uh, materials, we need, need to add in some fences. That's perimeter wall, fence. Just on these little sections like this. Now materials, where's gravel? Here it is. Slow walk speed, outdoor only. I think that would be a good material to have on this section here because it means that anyone who's trying to escape is forced to go slowly. They've got no choice. Um, and it helps the guards. It would, it would, I would imagine it helped the guards um, that are in front of them catch up to them, in t you know. It makes sense to me anyway. Come on, two hours. Right, reception. Objects we need. Office, desk, table and chair. Right, so we've got someone to check people in. Where's the chair? There's the chair. No, that's the door. Thank you. That way round, it actually looks like he's sitting at the computer. Bit of an optical illusion. Right, so tables along here. Then let's put in some benches. Um, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have like a gap in the middle. But it may not be even, but <clears throat> we've got our gap. Uh, no, no, it's not lying that. Right, so you're done, so let's go ahead and hire our accountant. Now we can hire some more staff without needing to worry about exceeding the budget. Put this up to 30. There we go. Is this all done already? Oh wow, that was quick. Um, holding cell. Objects. Now, actually, no. Let's 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 do some quick planning in here. And no, no, no. Let's make it too wide, like this. That way we can get a toilet and a shower set in here for, for the prisoners. And that one can just be a random toilet or something. Alright, so, materials, brick wall. Let's set these up. No, no, not there. Thank you. Uh, staff. Yep, yeah, chief is done. Now let's actually get the proper one. Um, where was you? I saw it. I did see it. Oh, there it is. Done. The yeah, proper administration, administration center. And here's the basic detention center, which we are currently working on technically um, I also want to finish up the holding cell here uh, once that's done I'll be ending off the episode I also want to show you guys what I want for this so let's grab a shower uh, that does need a single toilet in here so I might leave that one as the holding cell Still, there we go. I don't know if this will work. Oh, there's, there's already a door there. A uh, toilet. Let's put one in each of these units here. Um, then we also want one of these in each unit. 
Okay, so the toilet bit worked on that one. That's fine. And we need a shower head. Uh, not for that one. Okay. Rooms, shower. But I'm thinking of doing something along these lines for all, all of the individual cells. Uh oh. Yeah, I did that. That was my bad. There we go. So now we just need some benches, but I'm also going to put in some beds as well. So let's uh, leave a gap there. Um, maybe I can leave a gap between all of them then. Yeah, perfect. And then some along here. And we'll go ahead and put the beds in between. Why not just cram them in? There. That works out quite well, I think. I think that's actually looking pretty nice. In comparison to how most of my prisons come out, that's not looking too bad at all. What do you guys think? Well, anyway, we're going to have to end off the episode here. I was just thinking, there was a reason I wanted them to be able to come down here real quick. I can't remember what, remember what it was. No clue. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. I want to say thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please, 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 don't forget to uh, rate and comment below. You know what, let's just have all of the outside here as gravel. Why not? Uh, please don't forget to rate and comment below, and I will see you all in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.